Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how you can export your iWeb website and put it on a domain name. Now this is actually a video request from Luxury713 and he messaged me saying, can you do a video of iWeb, not so much creating it, but more like showing us the process of getting it on the web. And he says that I think I would use GoDaddy.com. Now, first of all, there's two things that go into making and uploading a website. The first thing is the domain name. The domain name is basically knowyourmac.com. It's your own custom name that people can go to the site and that's all your content. But the only problem is if I just bought a domain name, you couldn't see anything because you also need something called hosting. And hosting is just it is a connection between you and your domain name and it helps you upload all your files to your domain. Now again, he says he would like to use GoDaddy.com and that's fine, but GoDaddy is only for domains. It says 199 domains and as GoDaddy is pretty cheap and very, very popular, if I were to buy KnowYourMac.com through here, I would have to go and sign up for another website just so I can get the hosting. So that's more money than I need to spend. So I'm going to show you what I like to use, which is xisn.com. And the link will be in the description. Again, that's xisn.com. And this is all in one. It allows you to buy your own domain name. and It allows you to host it. And they're very cheap. You could just go to basic plan. And you can see, register new domain. So it allows you to do both of those things on one website, so you don't have to pay for two websites. Now, one thing you have to look for when you're purchasing from hosting is that it has FTP access. And FTP is wirelessly syncing the files from your computer to the hosting. Now, on iWeb, FTP is almost the only way to do it. So you're definitely going to need FTP. Now, also, once you've done that, go through that entire setup and everything. And I'm just going to go into iWeb and make a quick account. Alright, so I'm going to open this up here. And this is my Know Your Mac store, knowyourmacstore.tk. And I'm just going to go new site. And the phone's ringing, but I don't really care at this time. So, um, anyway, and this is just my site. Just pretend this is my site. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on a site so that I can see what I'm going to publish to. And I'm going to publish to a local folder. Now, you could publish to FTP, but for me, it's a little glitchy. And there's some things that you won't really understand quite yet. So local folder, I will choose on my desktop, I'll create a new folder, my know your Mac site, all right, choose, and that's it. You can fill in the other things if you want. I'm just going to click on publish site, quit out of that, and now you're going to need to download a free application called Cyberduck which allows you to FTP files. Again, link in the description. And without Cyberduck, you won't be able to do it. So make sure you get that. Now you're just going to hit open connection and you're going to type in the server, the username, and the password that they will supply you with. Okay. So on that website you will find those informations. And then depending on how your website is set up, you could have to go into a bunch of folders before you actually get to where you have to upload it. For me, I have to double click on the name of the site and then go into htdocs, where I will then take all of these files and just drag them right in, and that's it. Sometimes it's just a folder called www. but I cannot really tell you because it truly depends on what website you have hosting from. And that's it. Very simple. And every time you publish your website, you got to make sure to go back and re-upload them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe.